Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Fizzy back again with another video. As you guys probably already know, it is October, the scariest month of the year. So, today we are going to be reacting to some scary videos. And, yeah, it's the part two. If you guys haven't seen my first video, I'll leave a link down in the description. So, make sure to go watch that. It's a good video. So, without further ado, let's just get into this. I'm ready to get jump scared. Hope you guys are too. Make sure to smash the like button on the screen right now. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. And let's get into this. Let's go. Hope you guys are ready. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this right now, guys. So, we just got to watch a bunch of little short films and all that. So, yeah, let's go. I'm just going to react to this 3 minutes and 36 video one. I'm so sorry about the background noise. I'm just so sorry. And let's get into this. Let's go. Alrighty. Let's do this. Alright. Creepy neighbor horror story animated. Okay. If you guys are ready for this. Let's get into this. Let's go, as I already said. I think I did. Right, let's get into this. Hope I don't get copyrighted because a bunch of my video reaction videos are on YouTube. Surprised none of them got copyrighted because, you know, like, probably because I'm not very famous and all that, and YouTube doesn't really care because how much people watch my videos. I don't know, I haven't got copyrighted yet. That probably will happen in the future. If I do become famous, I probably won't. So, if you guys haven't already, make sure to smash that subscribe button. So, I can get famous. So, yeah, it's probably not going to happen now because I said it. So, anyway, guys, I'm just going to shut up. Let's get into this. This happened in 2009. We would fly from our home state in California to Minnesota to visit my father's family for the summer. Okay. enjoyed it there because of Sorry about the lag. The nature and peaceful atmosphere. My father's family lived far from town and he only had two neighbors my only friend there was a girl who lived next door let's call her morgan she's around my age and me my sister and yeah. her would always play okay from sunrise to sunset one day at around 4 p.m we were outside yeah. playing badminton my sister hit the birdie too hard and it landed in the next door neighbor's yard Oh my god. So scared. So scared. And I felt uncomfortable leaving it there, so I took my sister to go get it myself. She told me not to do it and to just wait for Morgan. While my sister was fixing the net, I decided to run and get it real quick. As I was about to enter the gate, my sister grabbed Just jump it, who cares? And telling me how much of a bad idea. Could easily jump that. That's when an old man came out from behind the house. He picked up the birdie and said said yes and asked if I could have it That's back. creepy. He said he had his grandchildren's old toys upstairs and asked if we wanted to have them. He was very young at the time and we thought as he lived so close and he looked like a typical sweet grandfather, it's the worst that could happen. He does not look sweet. He entered through the back door. The first thing I noticed was the These kids are stupid. It smelled of damp and rotten food. I shrugged it off at the time since he was old. Maybe he lived the way. We heard more yeah, I don't blame you. I politely told the old man we that he was right. and maybe we'd return tomorrow. Morgan yeah, go. I'll go. He asked what we were doing there. I answered, sweet old man. And she cut me okay. off and said that the house was abandoned since she moved there. I thought she was going to be How is someone's living there, though? She had a blanket. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was. Is that it? Right, that wasn't that creepy, I guess, guys. So, at least that's just the start. So, we that was just like I don't know, a warm up for all the other creepy stuff that we're gonna watch today. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. Five scary things uh, captured in the woods. Okay. Let's watch this. 
<laughs> what the frick was that? <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, why am I doing this right now? Why am I doing this? And I just got a haircut today, guys, so that's why my hair's a bit shorter than it usually is, so. Yeah, if you guys are wondering, I'm a new hairstyle, so. Yeah, okay, let's get into this. Five scary things caught on camera in the woods. Not a happy camper. I'm get I'm guessing this is gonna be a lot scarier. Of a British guy named CJ and his dog Lance. Basically, CJ travels to bizarre and remote locations all over Europe and camps there in his van for several nights. Okay. Camper is a very entertaining travel channel that is not paranormal in the least. In fact, there's not one video on the channel that contains anything remotely supernatural. Except for this one video. CJ is camped out in a very remote area of the French countryside. He's trying to fix his camper fridge when suddenly his dog Lance, who is just off screen, starts to act very strange. Right. Now I'm sure with house fridges you're supposed to eat. Right, so I'm pretty sure with a house fridge, Wait, what's he doing? if you move it, you're supposed to leave it like 12 or 24 hours. I'm going to give it the full 24 hours, I think. I know I'm getting so close to the camera. You keep freaking me out, doggy. There's no one over there. <laughs> Doggy's seen some shit. <laughs> CJ then reveals why the dog's behavior is giving him the creeps. There's actually a well. Just where I'm parked, down this little track, and there's a well. That dog park. definitely seen some shit, guys. Definitely seen some shit. And I saw the well, instantly started thinking about the ring, which when I was about, I don't know, like 10 when it came out, it scared the shit out of me for like a month I didn't sleep properly. And now the dog keeps looking at the ring and wondering where it is. So I'm like, nah, oh, mate, I might move. Damn. But I can't. That evening, <laughs> set, things get even more bizarre. Okay, I'm seriously freaking out. Um, a minute ago, I could hear like really loud moaning, like, uh, like just it's a rake, probably. Mountains. So I've come down to where I can hear it. Uh, got to this old well, and it stopped. I mean, that thing's wild freaky. It's like smart the ring. But just as soon as I got here, just from over there, there's no one. This girl. Check. Went to go and find it again. She's gone. It's not that way. That's where. I'm what? Is that the dog? That goes to the road. Oh, is he talking about? I'm not really paying attention. There's nothing, and there's nothing. There's there. quite, I'm pretty sure it's not the dog. Uh, is it the dog? I, I have no clue right now. You guys probably pay more attention than me. CJ says that his dog Lance usually happily runs over to meet new people, but the Spaniel wouldn't go anywhere near the bizarre bald girl. A little later, CJ spots the girl again. He records her in the distance, aimlessly walking through the countryside woods. CJ That's creepy. Again later, but didn't have the chance to record. Uh, I saw the girl under the two times, the last time I was near the van, and she was running through the forest. And with that, CJ has had enough. He just gets out of there. I booted it. I'm about 50 miles from there now, but I left. I was gone. I was gone. That's freaking crazy. I didn't even pack the van away. Um, yeah. It's a pretty big mess here. So... Did CJ have a run-in with a ghost in the remote French countryside? Let me know what you think. Out of the I think that's probably in fake. In a boonian is a creature that lives in the high mountains and deep in the forest. They are said to be supernatural beings, some with magical powers. In this video, what? No. the Indonesian what? YouTube channel Ghost Pack Official, the ghost hunter is trying to taunt a boonian into appearing before him. It doesn't work out well. 
Flag, please go away. Wait a minute. Uh, uh. What? Oh, it's just that. Uh. Whoa. God, so scary. Oh my god, so scary. Oh my god, I love Jedi's. I'm going a lot of places actually. Mm -hmm. I'm good, bro. Interrupt my video, then I'm not doing it. Union, eat me. Hear the sounds of breaking twigs, guys. Did you say guys? Union to adalah makhluk. Rex is a creature. Ada suara. Arahnya dari bawah. You guys can read it. I'm not. I'm not bothered. Astagfirullahaladzim ya Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Ada suara nggak, teman-teman? Get out of there! What the hell is this guy doing in the woods by himself? How stupid is he? <laughs> oh my god, I got chills. I literally got chills right now, guys. Like, my heart is racing right now. My god, that is, that is some fucking effed up crap right there. Like, who the hell was that? It's like some freaking chick in the woods. No, that's creepy. Yeah, I think I'll run too. Get the fuck out of there. Two nightmarish creatures that look like something from a Silent Hill video game come lurching out of the woods. Both seemingly faceless, one large and lumbering, the other bounding. Sunderman's girlfriend. Wait, it looks like Sunderman's girlfriend, eh? It has no face, like. So what? <laughs> Sunderman's girlfriend. Like, who else could it be, right? Sunderman lives in the woods. She lives in the woods. And okay, if you guys think of Sunderman's girlfriend, leave it in the comments. <laughs> but that's probably not. It's probably just some freaking chick that's trying to scare people. From the forest, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. It rings a bell. On the channel Mindscene TV, the guys are trekking through the woods late at night to find an abandoned, supposedly haunted group of buildings in the forest. But on their hike through the woods, they encounter something stranger than a ghost. Someone seems to be following them in the dark. Yo. Oh. Person whistles from somewhere if it's... in the trees. Oh. Nevertheless, the guys keep going and eventually reach their destination, an abandoned building deep in the forest. They are now suspicious that someone might be striking them through the woods. They set up a makeshift warning system using bells attached to fishing lines to alert them if someone approaches. <laughs> Oh, 
Why are you fishing string? Could just be an animal, bro. Yeah, it could just be an animal. <laughs> Perform their usual parapsychology tests and get a few odd results, but nothing much. So they decide to leave. Then this happens. I'll leave too. Right, so we just finished all our sessions in there. Unfortunately, uh, we're not really sure if we did find anything. I don't think that we did. We're going to review a lot of it in the video editing program. Uh, we did get a little bit lost off track, but I think that we're on the right path now. And I would say we're probably about, uh, probably about 10 minutes to the road. There has to be an animal. Just no way. I just don't want anything creeping up on us. I really don't want anything creeping up on us. Yeah, this is the most uncomfortable I've probably ever been in my whole entire life. Yeah, yeah. You that 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 Why are you shopping? Why are you shopping? I don't know, dude. They sounded close. You know what? You said we hurry up a little bit. Seemingly, someone walks over their warning line, causing the bells to jingle. They make a run well, for it to get back to their car right. safely, but the two are still very shaken up by the whole ordeal. Cut the camera off for a minute. It's probably an animal. We figure out where we were going, and uh, we needed to get out of there quickly because uh, I'm pretty sure we were being followed just now. The whistle. Yeah. Two things to me. One, you had to have known that we were there. Or heard us, seen us, seen a flashlight, whatever. Yeah. And two, just confident enough to whistle, knowing like, yo, nothing's gonna happen to me. Oh, yeah. Watch the full video as well as their other paranormal investigations over on Mind Seed TV. How yeah, I might do that. See? This next clip is one of those obscure yep. videos that's yep. been on the internet for years, but not too Hard many and people seek. have seen it. Now, the story goes that a guy named Mike had been seeing something walking near the tree line of the woods that surround his home. One night, he decides to grab a flashlight and go to investigate. And he records it as well. God, that's windy. What the? So this is a pretty old video. What the? And even though I researched, I can't even confirm the original source. But it's definitely creepy and. I Wait, was that just? What that is. So, Looks like a person. Camera or just a fake? As always, you decide. It's creepy just me looking at it. These three guys, Penny, Vic, and Nia, are exploring a supposedly haunted abandoned hotel. They are all alone in the deep woods surrounding the building. And as you might expect... Guys, if you haven't seen my Ben house videos with me and my mate Cohen, go there. Go check them out. They're creepy AF. And one of the videos, like... One of the doors literally opened by itself. And I couldn't even prove it. Like, there's literally... There was no wind going on when I opened. Like, literally. I literally... As soon as I opened, I recorded the trees. They weren't even moving. Like... Seriously, that abandoned house is really creepy. I want to exist going there. If you do end up finding it, I just, I wouldn't go inside, guys. Like, really, it's just creepy AF. I want to do it. So, yeah, I'm just going to continue watching this. The trio catches some creepy noises, but not much else. Or at least that's what they thought. 
when they posted the video online, viewers noticed something absolutely <laughs> chilling. Now keep in mind when you watch this clip that there were only three guys exploring the hotel. And they were all alone miles into the forest. Something inside. Stürzt ein oder so. Oh, das ist so schlimm, Alter. Geht das ohne mich? Did you see it? Oh, das ist so schlimm, Alter. Geht das ohne mich? What? One of the guy's cameras accidentally catches what looks to be someone just standing what the? there, motionless in the dark, watching them. They posted a follow-up video soon after. Scrape. Ohne Witz. Das hätte sonst wer sein können. Ja. Ohne Witz, ihr müsst mir überlegen, wir waren einfach mitten im Wald, so nachts in so einem verlassenen fucking Waldhotel und da war einfach eine vierte Person und wir haben den erst im Nachhinein in den Aufnahmen gesehen. Das ist voll abgefuckt. Jacob, go! Go! Sorry about that, guys. Just my brother. Spot into my room. Sorry, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Alrighty, guys. Sorry for, for that. For what brother just brought you in my room. So sorry about that, guys. So. Yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to smash that like button on the screen right now. And make sure to smash the subscribe button. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Peace out. See you guys in the next